Good morning, guys. Russia launched an attack at the port of Odessa in Ukraine this morning. I want you to know about it. This is from the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, tweeted, quote, Russia strikes the port city of Odessa less than 24 hours after signing an agreement to allow shipments of agricultural exports. The Kremlin continues to weaponize food. A lot of this is going to be wheat, and I've got a bunch of stuff that I had no idea wheat was used in. This is going to affect everybody. It's going to affect the people over there more and the countries all around it. You know, Ukraine is the breadbasket of the world. Russia attacked the Black Sea trade port in Odessa, Ukraine, on Saturday. That's today. Less than one day after the two countries came to an agreement mediated by Turkey to export tons of grain out of the Ukraine sea ports. Four cruise missiles jetted towards the port, two of which were shot down before hitting the port, uh, the city of Odessa announced. The grain deal, which was also mediated by the United Nations, attempted to improve global food shortages by allowing ports in Ukraine, including the Black Sea trade port, to operate and ship grains worldwide. This is going to be a worldwide thing, guys. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine has led to a de facto blockage of Black Sea ports, keeping key agricultural goods from leaving the area. Quote, it took less than 24 hours for Russia to launch a missile attack on Odessa ports, breaking its promise and undermining its commitments before the UN. Ukraine Prime Minister of Foreign Affairs spokesman, quote, in case of non-fulfillment, Russia will bear the full responsibility for global food crisis. I'm thinking that's what they want. The Ministry of Ag Agarian Policy told Spline News that there were plans to ship grain out from Odessa before it was hit by missiles. This is not an attack on Odessa port. This is a blow to the whole world. Odessa Regional Military Administration spokesman Sergei called for other nations to supply Ukraine with modern air defense and missile uh, defense systems. So they're calling for more weapons, more war to fight against uh, what Russia has supposedly done. I'm not there. I don't know if any of this is true. I, I feel like it is. But, you know, there's so much propaganda that comes from there, we just can't tell. The Russians are systematically creating a food crisis, doing everything to make people suffer. Famine, terror continues. The world must act. The best food safety guarantees are twofold effective sanctions against Russia and more weapons for Ukraine. War, war, war. Now, I don't know what exactly is going on, like I said before, but the, the end result is going to be more war and more hungry people. U.S. officials also weighed in on the report attack, admonishing Russia, Russia for its actions and voicing their support for Ukraine. Outrageous, says the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. All right, so... <clears throat> You know, we know that. That's the, the quick story. That's the information I have. It'll be on my Telegram. It'll be in the description. It'll pin in the comments. But just so you know, there's so much stuff that involves wheat. I'm going to go through a list of these. And you can kind of, if you're listening to me and you consume wheat, or maybe you don't even think you do. You will after you hear what I have to say about this. Maybe get a few of these things and gather them up and put them on a shelf. I'm just saying. Flour, of course. Everybody knows that most flour is made directly from wheat grain. This includes white bread, brown, bran flour, buckwheat flour may also contain a blend of wheat. Baked goods, cakes, cookies, pastries, and other baked goods all contain wheat. Pasta, of course. Pizza, breadsticks, frozen pizza, frozen pizza dough, fish sticks, dried, uh, fried chicken wings, battered vegetables, pepper, Onions or zucchini will contain wheat from the bread or battered, battered vegetables. Canned soups. I didn't know this one. Flour is a thickener. This includes soups in packet, packets as well as soups that you order from most restaurants. Creamed vegetables that contain stabilizers also contain wheat. Sauces. Most commercial Commercially prepared sauces, soy sauce, Worcestershire, teriyaki, and horseradish sauce. Dip, gravy, gravy mixes. These all contain wheat thickening agents. As a general rule, most thickening agents, such as starches, contain wheat. 
ground spices, curry powder, Cajun spice, pie spice, Thai spice, contain wheat agents to prevent them from clumping, instant drinks, drinks like instant coffee, instant tea, cocoa powder, contain wheat, as well as powdered malt and chocolate milk. Most malt drinks will contain wheat, desserts, ice cream, ice cream cones, sherbet, icings, meringues, puddings, all contain wheat. Condiments, ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, they are either ready-made or in powdered form, all contain wheat. Salad dressings, many salad dressings contain wheat enriched emulsifiers or stabilizers. Meats, sausages, luncheon, and prepared meat patties contain wheat. Imitation and synthetic cheese, pasteurized cheese spreads, cottage cheese containing modified or wheat starches, blue cheese, and vein cheese. Beer, most commonly made of barley, but wheat is also widely used ingredient. Sweets, licorice, chocolate, candy, and cereal extracts, and chewing gum all contain wheat. And I know a lot of people, a lot of us don't eat quite a few of those things, but the rest of the world does. Uh, so, you know, this is something we can see coming. And if you're listening to me overseas, put where you're from in the comments. That would be really cool. And I, that's the news for today, guys. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.